Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the rotate image or rotate matrix problem. In this problem we are going to rotate the matrix by 180 degrees in the clockwise direction. In the previous video we had seen the same problem but for 90 degrees uh, clockwise direction. So this is the same as 180 degrees anti-clockwise as well. So both the questions are same. You can practice this question by going to lead code number 48. Once we are done discussing the solutions of this problem, we will discuss all possible follow-ups which is very important if you are asked this question in an interview. So stay tuned till the end. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Now let us look at the problem statement. In this problem given a 2D matrix of size m by n where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. If you rotate it by 180 degrees in the clockwise direction then this is your expected array which is the target array. Now in this case I have taken a square matrix but even if it is a rectangular matrix your technique should work fine. Now there are multiple solutions in order to solve this problem. So whenever you are asked this problem always go for the solution which is in place and it should be the most optimal solution as well. In place algorithms do not require any extra space. If you talk about out of place algorithms then they require extra space even though the time complexity is the same the in place do not have any space complexity they have order of one space complexity hence they must be preferred over any of the out of place algorithms an out of place technique can be you can take an array outside where you will copy the entire row and then you will put it back at its correct place so don't do all those techniques so let us look at some of the in place algorithms by which you can solve this problem the first solution is if you simply rotate the given matrix 90 degrees in the clockwise direction two times then basically you are uh, rotating the entire matrix by 180 degrees in the clockwise direction. Now this is uh, very simple we had already seen in our previous video of 90 degrees rotation that we can do the same thing by first finding the transpose of the matrix and followed by that if we reverse the columns then we can do 90 degree rotation. So if these two steps are repeated two times then you will be uh, rotating the entire given matrix by 180 degrees. So the time complexity here will be order of mn where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns and we are just repeating it two times and this is an in place algorithm we are not taking up any extra space. Now let us look at solution 2. The solution 2 is even simpler with just two steps in this case if you just reverse the columns and followed by that if you just reverse the rows then you will basically be rotating the entire given matrix by 180 degrees otherwise uh, you can even do the reverse rows first and followed by that you can do the reverse columns as the second step both will have the same effect and uh, this doesn't require any extra space as well and the time complexity is again order of mn so this is in place algorithm and the most optimal one there can be other techniques one of those techniques are if you just swap these values and then swap these values and swap these values right so if you swap the ith row with the n minus ith row in the reverse direction uh, then this will have the same effect and you will be doing it by just a single parse of all the elements again in order of mn algorithm but uh, you can just go through this solution if you want but this is more simpler to understand hence you can stick with solution 1 or solution 2. Now let's look at the follow up problems which you can get. The follow up problem can be rotate 90 degrees in the clockwise direction which is the same question as rotating the matrix by 270 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction. I have already made a video on this the link for it will be in the description below. Rotate a matrix by 270 degrees in the clockwise direction or the same thing can be written as 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction. Again you can be asked to discuss on in place algorithms versus out of place algorithm. Let's say you solve the problem by using an out of place algorithm that is by using some extra space. Now the question is solved. So 
the interviewer will ask you about what type of algorithm did you uh, select and then can you do further improvements on the same algorithm there comes the discussion about your solution being out of place and you can convert it to an in place algorithm or select an in place algorithm with the same time complexity but with a lower space complexity so this is your final answer which is an in place algorithm implementation in the next video we will see how to rotate by 270 degrees in the clockwise direction if you found this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you